This is the denim skirt that I will be refashioning. Well, it's going to need company. And this is the company. <laughs> this is a cardigan with a centre front zip. And this is mine. So I haven't worn it for a, a few years. Very rarely gravitate towards it. So I suppose in a way I'm going to be refashioning both. But it's all about the skirt and how I'm going to play around with the skirt to give this garment a bit of... Mm, I don't know, a bit more interest, so let's get started. So I'm using the denim skirt in order to change this, even though both of them have been refashioned in a sense. So I'm going to turn the skirt upside down and I love this button detail and I'm going to be putting it along my shoulders like so and then bring the other side bring the skirt around the back to the other side like so so we've got something happening on both sides that's kind of well balanced and then what I'll do is cut these out so that they fit really nice here and then work on the back that'll be my next step there are pins everywhere, but I'm just going to make it a lot clearer for you. So I'm working with the skirt upside down, so I'm starting on the hemline. The hemline is going to represent the shoulder, so this will be placed on the shoulder of the cardigan. And then I'm going to freehand a curve here, which will represent the armhole, and bring it down here. And this is where I will be cutting to this point here. I want to keep the waistband intact from the front all the way around to the back. So let's get started drawing that curve shape and bring it round to here and then I'm going to cut straight down here, stop here, remove the waistbands from this point all the way to the opposite side take that away and then just left with this section here which you'll see in a moment where it will look really contemporary. Hi if you are new to my channel I'm Colleen G Lee. I'm here to inspire, motivate and share ideas to refashion clothing that already exist. Let's get back to the video. So I put that to one side. So we have the waistband, it's all intact, which is good. And what I have done to the front so far is that I have pressed in the side seam here and I've also used Wonderweb to keep it in place. And then I'm going to turn the armhole edge to the wrong side, like so. Press that down and also glue that down into place using Wonderweb. And once that is done, it will look like this side, which I've already done. As you can see, it helps keep it stable and stiff and gives it the shape, a nice curved shape that I'm looking for. So let's turn it to the right side so you can see what I'm, how it looks. And there we have it, a waistcoat. I'm only joking. Um, yes, it looks cute. It really looks so cute just like this. But it's not functional. It's not a functional piece. But this is what it looks like. Let me just turn it to the wrong side. As you can see, the seams of the armholes are being folded in and pressed and wonder webbed, if that's such a phrase. And also the side seams here. This is what is left. Now, as some of you may know, I try to use as much of of the garment that I am refashioning and I think I'm going to have a few scraps left over from this because this is kind of nice but I'm really thinking about how to play around with this so it may go this way it may go that way which I'm kind of feeling more than the other way I'll be able to tuck this back into the waistline maybe if I gave it an inverted pleat 
because that looks so cute there and perhaps if I cut down each side seam I'm left with this bit here and I perhaps could add this to the pockets which I will try and do okay so I've made my mind up so I'm going to fold this in half cut away this little wing bit that's happening here and then I am going to cut that section these two sections will be put onto the pocket and this is going to go onto the back as you already know but it's missing something it feels like it needs some kind of graphic but I've been through my stash I've decided what I'm going to do I'm going to put this in the centre here so it's actually a jeans pocket so I'm just going to cut close to it have this part of it as well and yeah I think it's an interesting detail to the back of the jacket so the side seams or the raw edges let's call it have been folded into the back of the I don't know what you call this this piece of uh, <laughs> denim that's going to go on the back of this cardigan this is what the front looks like and I'm liking it it's, it's, it's growing on me I must admit it did take a while to grow on me but I know it needs something and I think this will work so what I'm going to do I'm going to sew um, a line of stitching across maybe yeah across here and then because of these rivets I'm going to start here and then sew along here along there and there and I'm trying to make up my mind whether I want an inverted pleat like that which is okay but then again I'm thinking maybe gathers I think I think I may go for gathers you will know by the end of the video <laughs> I have opted for the gathering effect and I think it's the right choice. I'm now going to sew that into place. Then I'm going to go slowly because it's a lot of thickness. And if you come across areas where it is thick, do use your hand wheel. It really will help to get over those difficult areas. And that's what I'm doing at the moment, using my hand wheel. Just take a little bit of effort. But it's definitely worth it okay done that pull my pins out and then continue sewing okay so still working on the back so what I have done is place the back and I was placing this hemline onto the neckline of the cardigan but it didn't sit right so I've placed it halfway so I put a pin in there and what I'm going to do I'm going to sew from this point here to this point here and that will keep it in position but in order to, to enable it to stay in position I'm going to work on the shoulder so as you can see there's lots of pins here so let me just show you what I've done here let me just put that pin as a marker so I will sew the front first in position and as you can see the seam is there, the shoulder seam which is set back quite a bit on the actual jumper and this is going to be my original shoulder line so I'm, play, I'm going to stitch from here to here because of the bulk I wouldn't, my needle wouldn't get over that my sewing machine there to there but it's fine it will be able to stay in place I'll just hand stitch there and hand stitch it on the collar as well so I'm bringing this on top once that is sewn place that into position like I had it a moment ago and then stitch this in position it's going to require both hand sewing and machine sewing as well
gorgeous. The shoulder details are all in place now and that's looking amazing. The last stage is going to be doing the pockets, putting the denim on the pockets and then I would have used 100% of the denim skirt. So here we have the pocket, it has this kind of ribbed welt to it. So I'm going to get the denim and place it inside. And this will add a little bit of structure, it doesn't really alter anything as far as a functioning pocket. So I'll place that inside and then what will happen is I'm going to tack it a little bit towards the end let me just show you there. This part here is going to be sewn to that part there. So it will stay in place inside the pocket. And then we're going to have this flap effect that's going to happen on the outside of this gorgeous looking cardigan. There we go. That looks nice. Pin that into place. I'm going to sew along this seam here using my sewing machine and then once that is sewn I'm going to put a little tack there to keep this in place so it doesn't flap open so I'm going to place this onto my arm like so under the feet so it's nice and snug raise my foot even higher riddle it around until they get it in the right placement there we go it's right in the seam there put my foot down and i am done so yes gorgeous pockets oh these flaps are amazing and the size will fray and that frayness will happen once it's been washed and worn and it will also pick up a little bit from the back this looks amazing it almost looks like a, a denim jacket doesn't it without sleeves and the collar oh, I did on um, I did stitch this part there but it wasn't lying right so I decided to hand sew it to this section here which allows it to sit better and it looks gorgeous on which I'll show you and let's just see the back Yes, the back detail, the fraying, amazing. And also, this looks flat. Well, it does, doesn't it? As a sewn it flat. But when I put it on, something else happens, which I can't wait to show you. So let's try it on now. Look at these pockets. Doesn't it look as though I've got cuffs on these sleeves? Once I've got my hands in the pocket, amazing. So exciting, you really are. Oh. And now we come up to the front, and I just love the fact that it's kind of sculptural, and it's almost giving me an hourglass shaping to this. It stands away from the cardigan, and it's it's just gorgeous, including the collar area as well. That stands away a little bit more, and it sits better than what it did originally when I stitched it. On the sewing machine so I decided to stitch it by hand. Let me just show you the back. The back. Oh, oh. I like how the back is kind of sitting a little bit higher than the actual front section and yeah it's got life of its own and look at this it's 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 the tab situation that's happening there return sideways that's got a life of its own and that's amazing that's the amazing thing about refashioning garments. You've got to allow yourself for the garment to sit the way it wants to because it had another life before it began its second life. And it's full of surprises. And that's what I like about designing refashioning clothing is that I do have something in my head the way I want it to go, but I've got to allow the garment to do what it wants to do as well. And that's one of the secrets to refashioning garments and making it look beautiful and professional and getting that contemporary edge that you know I love. If you enjoyed this refashioning video then please give it a thumbs up and please do comment, put 
any ideas in the comment box below this video, it will really be appreciated because I'm out there to help you think of new ideas to refashioning clothing. And like I said, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.